right, learners. In this video, we will be getting down to factorizing what we call expressions where we have the difference of two squares. Let's get into it. All right, so welcome back to factorization. Today, we're looking at the second type of factorization. And But, be, but before we start, I really want us to look back at something that I mentioned in the previous video. The previous video on taking out a highest common factor. If you've not seen that, go check that out. But something that I said was that factorization is the opposite of simplification by distribution, is the opposite of simplification when we multiply out. And so I really want us to start there. I want us to start looking at this expression, which is already factorized. You might notice that I already have it in the form of something multiplied by something. And so let us just start then from the opposite side and say, what would I have to do to multiply this out? Well, some of you might have already noticed this is going to be the FOIL method. So that means firsts and outer and then inner and lasts. And so one last step is I need to simplify this. We need to add the like terms, which are these two middle terms. And wonderful, they add up to naught. So we're, it, it leaves us with a final answer where both terms are squares, but also we've got the difference of both terms. And you will see this, that whenever you simplify a binomial multiplied by binomial, two brackets that are being multiplied, where the, first, where the first term in both is the same and the last term in both is the same, but the signs are different. One is a plus and one is a minus. Then it will always give you the difference of two squares. And so what we do to spot that is we're going to have a look. We're going to keep an eye out for the difference of two squares. And so keep an eye out for the dots. All right, because when we go over to a different type of question and we're actually asked to factorize it, say when we have the following. And I have x, well, hold on, let's go. Say, and I have x squared and we subtract nine. And now I am asked to factorize. I know where I can go because if I know where I can, where I've been, I know where I can move forward to. And because this is a square and this is a square and it is the difference of the squares, I can say that I know what it's going to look like. I know it's going to be two brackets that are multiplied together. And what I need to ask is, what do I need to multiply with that first? Well, that gave me my first term. And so what multiplied by itself gives x squared? Well, that's pretty easy, x and x. And what multiplied by itself gives 9, also again relatively easy, giving us 3 and 3. And what must the signs be? Well, it really doesn't matter in which order it is, as long as they are different. And so we can use this. Let us then let us have a look at one more example. Let's make it slightly more complex. And we have 9x squared y squared, and we are subtracting. All right, let's have a look maybe at four. And so you have to ask yourself, do I see the dots? Do I see the difference? Well, yes. And ask yourself, is four a square? Well, yes, it is because we know two multiplied by two is four. All right, let's have a look at nine x squared y squared. Is that a square? Well, we need to ask ourselves, can I rewrite this as something multiplied by itself? Can I take the square root of this, that's another way of thinking of it. But also just ask yourself, is everything in this term a square? Is 9 a square? Yes. Is x squared a square? Of course. Is y squared a square? No problem. And so I know this is going to be in the same format. The difference of squares will always look like this. But we have the first terms are the same, and they are what give us this first term. And so what gives us... What multiplied by itself gives 9x squared y squared? Well, 3 multiplied by 3 gives 9. x and x, remember these two terms must be exactly the same. 
and y and y. And you see how wonderfully that works out. And for this last term, again, 2 and 2, we know, multiplies to 4. And what must the signs be? They must be different. And it really does not matter in which order. This could be a positive and that could be a negative. If you want to test your work, you can, in pencil, do the FOIL method and multiply it out. Because we know that factorization is the opposite or is the, it undoes our um, simplification by distribution. So you can test it out. All right. But we leave our answer right there. That is the final answer for both of these. Okay, so now it's your turn. Go try it out. And uh, if you struggle, come back and watch the video. Follow the same steps, because the same steps will always get you to the right answer. And remember, do your best and pray for the rest.